Hello, friends of financial success. Today, we'll dive into the strategies of the little capitalist pig so you can start making money right away. Get ready to discover how these strategies can lead you to financial success. I am your finance teacher, and I'm here to guide you on this exciting journey. Are you ready to transform your financial situation and start making money today? Write your answer in the comments. Let's get started. Lesson 1. Define your financial goals. In the Little Capitalist Pig, Sophia Macias teaches us the importance of having clear financial goals. But have you defined yours? Financial goals are specific objectives you set to achieve in terms of money and financial well-being. Defining financial goals gives you a clear purpose and helps you focus on what truly matters. What are your short, medium, and long-term financial goals? Have you taken the time to write them down? Imagine your financial goals as destinations on a map. Having a clear map makes the journey to success easier. Sit down, reflect, and define realistic and achievable financial goals. It's the first step to making money and achieving prosperity. Lesson 2. Master your expenses. Controlling your expenses is crucial for financial success. But do you really know where your money is going? Mastering your expenses means understanding in detail what and how you're spending your money. Awareness of your expenses allows you to make more informed financial decisions. Have you carefully analyzed your monthly expenses? Are there areas where you could save? Visualize your expenses as little piggy banks. Feed only those that bring you closer to your financial goals. Keep a detailed record of your expenses and discover areas where you can cut costs. Every peso you save is a step toward financial success. Lesson 3. Generate additional income. Sophia encourages us to seek additional sources of income. But have you explored all the opportunities around you? Generating additional income involves looking for opportunities outside your main income. Depending on a single income source can limit your financial potential. Have you considered other ways to make money besides your main job? Do you have skills you could monetize? Imagine your additional income as small streams that add up to form a river of prosperity. Explore opportunities for additional income, whether through freelancing, investments, or entrepreneurial ventures. Each additional source contributes to your financial growth. Lesson 4. Invest in yourself. The book emphasizes the importance of investing in your education and skills. But are you investing in your own growth? Investing in yourself means dedicating time and resources to improve your skills and knowledge. Investing in yourself is the best investment you can make. Have you wondered when was the last time you learned something new or enhanced your skills? Are you investing in your personal and professional development? Visualize investing in yourself as planting seeds that will grow into fruitful trees. Dedicate time and resources to improve your skills and knowledge. Investing in yourself will open doors to financial opportunities. Lesson 5. Save and invest wisely. Smart money management is key to financial success. Are you maximizing your savings and investments? Saving and investing wisely involve allocating part of your income for the future. Accumulating savings and investments creates a financial cushion and growth opportunities. How much are you currently saving and investing? Do you have a long-term financial plan? Imagine your savings and investments as building blocks forming your financial strength. Set savings goals, create an emergency fund, and explore investment opportunities aligned with your financial objectives. Lesson 6. Protect your assets. Sophia warns us about the importance of protecting our assets. Are you taking steps to safeguard your wealth? Protecting your assets involves taking measures to ensure the financial and legal security of your belongings. Without protection, your assets could be at risk in unforeseen circumstances. Have you considered the importance of insurance and legal measures to protect your assets? Do you have a contingency plan? Visualize protecting your assets as a shield guarding you against possible adversities. Evaluate your assets, insure them, and consider legal measures to protect your wealth. Prevention is key. Lesson 7. Enjoy your money. Financial success is not just about accumulating wealth but also about enjoying it. Are you finding the balance between saving, investing, and enjoying your money? 
Enjoying your money means using it consciously to improve your quality of life. Life is not just about accumulating money but also about enjoying it responsibly. Do you allow yourself to enjoy the money you've earned responsibly? Do you find a balance between saving for the future and enjoying the present? Imagine your moments of enjoyment as rewards that motivate you to keep working toward your financial goals. Plan enjoyable moments, set a budget for pleasurable activities, and find the perfect balance between saving, investing, and enjoying money. Lesson 8. Break free from limiting beliefs. Often, our beliefs limit us. Have you identified and overcome your limiting beliefs regarding money? Breaking free from limiting beliefs involves identifying and challenging negative thoughts that hinder your financial success. Limiting beliefs can hinder your progress and limit your possibilities. Have you wondered if limiting beliefs are affecting your financial decisions? Are you willing to challenge and change those beliefs? Visualize breaking free from limiting beliefs as releasing balloons that rise towards new possibilities. Reflect on your beliefs about money, identify the limiting ones, and work on changing them positively. Change begins in your mind. Lesson 9. Learn to say no. On the path to financial success, saying no is essential. Are you being selective in your financial decisions and commitments? Learning to say no involves being selective in your commitments and financial decisions. Saying no allows you to focus on what truly matters and avoid unnecessary commitments. Do you find it difficult to say no to expenses or commitments that don't contribute to your financial goals? Are you being selective in your decisions? Visualize saying no as pruning branches so the tree grows stronger and healthier. Practice the art of saying no to expenses and commitments that are not aligned with your financial goals. Every no brings you closer to your objectives. Lesson 10. Maintain a positive mindset. Attitude is key on the path to financial success. Are you cultivating a positive mindset even in the face of challenges? Maintaining a positive mindset involves facing challenges with optimism and learning from experiences. A positive mindset allows you to overcome obstacles and stay motivated. How do you face financial challenges? Are you cultivating a positive mindset even in tough times? Visualize a positive mindset as a lighthouse guiding you through financial storms. Face challenges with optimism learn from experiences, and maintain a positive mindset. Your attitude determines your financial altitude. I want to thank you for joining me in this exploration of the Little Capitalist Pig Strategies for Financial Success. Each of these lessons can transform your life. If this video has inspired you and provided ideas for making money today, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with those who are also seeking financial success. Remember, the path to financial success is a continuous journey, and I'm here to accompany you. Explore more valuable content on finance on our channel. Click on the next video on the screen to continue strengthening your knowledge. Together, we can achieve great things. Until next time.